This is example 2.1 on page 53 of your textbook. And here we're going to be looking at solving a problem using the law of definite proportions. So this law, in case you forgot, states that all samples of a given compound, regardless of their source or how they are prepared, have the same proportions of their constituent elements. So this problem states that we have two samples of CO2, or carbon dioxide, and they're decomposed. One sample produces 25.6 grams of oxygen and 9.6 grams of carbon, and the other sample produces 21.6 grams of oxygen and 8.10 grams of carbon. And they want us to show that these results are consistent with the law of definite proportions. So basically, if this law holds up, um, the ratio between oxygen and carbon is going to be the same in both of these compounds, despite the fact that they have slightly different mass amounts. So we're going to need a couple different numbers from this. We're going to need the 25.6 grams of oxygen, the 9.6 grams of carbon. That's going to be ratio number one. And then our second ratio is going to be the 21.6 grams of oxygen and 8.10 grams of carbon. So basically, when it says ratio, we're just going to see how much oxygen is in the compound compared to carbon. So it's literally just going to be mass of oxygen over mass of carbon. So for sample number one, that's going to be 25.6 grams divided by 9.6 grams. And we get 2.67 or if you want to think about it this way, there are 2.67 grams of oxygen per one gram of carbon. So that's our ratio for our first set of compounds. So now we need to see if this law stands up, um, our ratio for our second compound group should also be the same. So once again, it's going to be mass of oxygen over mass of carbon. And this time it's going to be 21.6 grams of oxygen over 8.10 grams of carbon. And that, if you divide the two, also gives you 2.67 or 2.67 grams of oxygen per 1 gram of carbon carbon, and that's ratio number two. So you'll notice here, both have this 2.67. Therefore, our law of definite proportions holds up um, because even though they have different masses, they both have the same ratio.